Hi, I'm Ian and I'm from the Oven Cleaning Training Academy and Oven Loving. Today's tip, we're going to look at slide and hide doors and how to take the slide and hide doors off. So we've got one here in our Training Academy. We'll just have a quick look so you can see it slides and hides underneath, which gives you access, more space within your kitchen, which, are, which is great. But the only problem with these doors is you can't get in there to clean them. It's very, very awkward to clean the bottom of the door. And also underneath the door is very, very awkward. But we want to get the door off because we want to clean inside the door as well. So how do we get the door off? First of all, we open it ever so slightly and we turn a screw that we have here. You have one on the left and the right hand side, little plastic screw. So we get a, a large screw, larger screwdriver and we turn that screw towards the oven. And we also have one on the other side, which I'll just quickly turn. And we turn that one towards the oven ex in exactly the same way. And what that does is lock the door in position. So if I give it a little wiggle, it should be a slight click and then that's that door locked in place. If you find the door slide, can, continues to slide under, close it ever so slightly and then give it a wiggle and it should lock its place. So I can now no longer open or close that door. It's stuck in that position. Now to remove the door, you need a slightly smaller screwdriver, which I've got here. And I'm gonna get a light so we can try and see where I'm putting that screwdriver. First of all, we'll do the one over here because I think we've got a better light. So if my assistant, Katie, who is my daughter, can just move over just slightly and hopefully see where I'm putting the screwdriver. So if we move ever so slightly towards it and see. So you can just see there's like a little cog there, a little mechanism and a black kind of bar. And we're going to lift the bar. Got a, there's a little hole, a little square hole. We lift the bar to unlock that side. And if I quickly do the other side, and then I'll show you what the mechanism looks like once the door's off. So lift it up, and hopefully that is it. And it's gonna be released, so just put the light down. So you just lift the door. If it doesn't come off, it's not a problem. You just ever so slightly lift the handle whilst lifting the door, and it just slides off. So that's the door off. I placed the door down so we can have a little look at the mechanism that I was talking about. So if you look over here, hopefully you can see it and the light is pretty good. What I was doing is I was placing my screwdriver in there and I lifted up. What I do is close it. So that's locking the door in place. I'll lift it up and that's unlocking the door to, so you can take the door off. So basically down and up. And that's on both sides. This mechanism locks this, yeah, this hinge stiff in place and it also locks this little device onto the bar so the hinge and the bar are now attached so the bar doesn't move if you don't get this part right this will spring back to the the oven and your bar will release and it'll, you're in a bit of a pickle so this is a really important part this is the piece that uh, some people get wrong and it creates all sorts of problems when when taken off the door so make sure that the door is locked and that is pointing towards the oven that screw is pointing towards the oven. Okay, so we're now gonna put the door on and what we're gonna do is quickly focus on what the, what the mechanism looks like on the door. So we've got a little device here. This sits within there and locks the door in place. So let's get the door back on. So we just slide it onto those wheels, we get it into position, making sure everything's at right angles. We've got a little gap underneath the door. So what do we do is just lift the handle ever so slightly and that puts the oven door back into position where we can now lock the door so it stays on. So now I'm going into that little device, that little mechanism and pushing the black bar, put my screwdriver in the square, pushing the bar down. I think that is it. And we'll do the other side. Do a little test. Yep, it's on, it's on, it's not moving. I lift the door handle, it's not coming off. And then we unlock the door by turning that screw towards me. And we do the other side, turning that screw towards me. And that should be it. And there we go, so the door's back on. So for what is Class is quite a complicated door, is relatively easy to take off. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you want more tips on products and tools, subscribe to our YouTube channel and we'll hopefully see you in another video.